Hello, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Create Mod in 1.18. So you guys read the title right. The Create Mod is now available for Minecraft 1.17 and 1.18, so we can now play with awesome contraptions, with awesome claves, and awesome cliffs. Along with the update, the Create Mod added a few new items, as well as a few tweaks to pre-existing blocks. So before you guys jump right into creating your 1.18 Create Mod worlds, let's take a look at all the new items added by the Create.4 update. So the first thing we're going to take a look at is the brand new item vault. So the purpose of the item vault is to basically work as a giant chest that you can't actually interact with. Now what that means is that you can't right click it to open its inventory, however you can use create mechanisms to pull in and out items. So taking a look at that practically, if we were to go ahead and have this item vault behind here, we can filter out what we want to take out, put items in through this chest. The items will go into our vault and you can see that our emeralds came out here and our diamonds came out here. So once again, you can see it goes into the vault and then comes out on this side. So because you can't actually right click to see what's inside of an item vault, filtering stuff out or only putting one item into your vault is going to be pretty important to keep your stuff well organized. So item vaults must be placed horizontally. It can be either one by one, two by two, or three by three. The one by one item vault can be one, two, three blocks long. The two by two can be one, two, three, four, five, six blocks long. And the three by three item vault can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So nine blocks long. So the next new item you guys can use in your crate contraptions is the pulse extender. So by default, this is set to two ticks. So when I press a button, it'll go on for two ticks and then turn off. But what I can actually do is extend this. So I can extend it to two seconds. And then when I press a button, it'll actually light up for two whole seconds and basically extend our pulse. This little thing is going to be super useful for redstone contraptions. No need to have long repeater lines to extend your pulse. So the next little addition is quite small but quite nice. You can now place casings over cog wheels to make encase cogs. So where this really comes into useful is when we're making a contraption. So let's just say making a speed doubler. So we got a large cog going to a small cog which doubles its speed. And if you want to do that again, we can't actually place it right here because that gets in the way of this cog. We have two rotating cogs next to each other. What I can do now is just place a casing over that cog. And now I can place this one here. So this makes the whole process of building your speed doublers a whole lot easier. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is the nugget of experience. So essentially what this is, is a solidified piece of experience, which you can right click and claim that experience. Now what this is used for is for crushing ores. So for crushing ores, you obviously get your ores, which you can smelt up. And it has a little bit of ore doubling, but what it doesn't do is give you the experience from actually smelting this. So to make up for that and still encourage crushing your ores, now when you crush ores, you not only get the crushed ore, but you also get some solidified experience. So now after crushing a stack of iron ore, I can go ahead and claim all of that experience and get nine levels just like that. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is copper. So what the crate mod did is they essentially took the create copper out of the game, and now you're going to be using the vanilla copper to do all of your create crafting. Now, if you're still a fan of the old create mod textures for copper, you can actually still use those. So if you go into your options and go into resource packs, there's a copper legacy pack, which you can go ahead and apply. So now you can see that our copper ingot, as well as the copper blocks, are back to their old create mod textures. However, it does not revert the ore back, so sadly we will no longer have oxidizing ore. Now, even though they removed the Create Copper from the game, they did not remove all of the copper building blocks we get with the mod, um, and they even added all of the different oxidation stages and waxing to these blocks. You can now use these in your builds at whatever oxidation stage you'd like. So the next thing we're going to look at is how the Create mod handles all of the new stones that it adds. So first thing I'm going to mention is that Gabbro, Dolomite, and Weathered Limestone have been removed from the game. The reason for that is because we can pretty much replace those with Dripstone, Calcite, and Tuff, respectively. So the mod also updated the way you get all of the Create Palette blocks. So what that means is now you take your raw stone, cut it, and then you can get all the variations, or polish it, get all the variations, cut it into bricks, cut it into small bricks, or get your layered granite and granite pillars, um, which still remain and have their um, connected textures. They can do all of those things with granite, 
diorite, andesite, calcite, dripstone, deep slate, tuff, limestone, scoria, dark scoria, as well as four new stone types, azurine, crimsite, orcum, and viridium. Now these new stone types can actually be found in the overworld, and I have to do a little bit more exploration to figure out where these spawn, but we will go ahead and take a look at how they spawn. So I came down into one of these beautiful new caves to show one of the changes that Crate makes to the way stones are going to spawn. So instead of having pockets of stones like you're used to, like we might see with our granite and diorite over here, the way the create mod blocks are going to spawn is in these kind of bands going through your world. So this is essentially one big vein of deep slate, crimsite, limestone, and tuff that's going to be cutting through this land here. So if you want to get a whole bunch of crimsite, deep slate, or limestone, this is where you'd want to come to mine it. And this does actually continue all the way down into the deep slate level, so we can see we have some viridium spawning all the way down here in these bands, as well as some of the azurite spawning in this cave. And this cave looks sick! And man, does this cave look amazing with those blocks. I am so excited to hop into Caves and Cliffs and actually start exploring these things. This is actually my first time playing around in 1.18, and I am having a wonderful time. So these veins also do spawn in the nether. So we have one of those veins kind of cutting through this little hill here with Scoria, um, Netherrack, and Magma Blocks. So now it's time to take a look at all of the changes and tweaks made by the update. By default, Bunny Amethyst cannot be picked up with a wrench on a car contraption, however they can be changed by going into Configure, Gameplay Settings, Kinetics, Contraptions, and then change Amethyst Movement to Movable. Mechanical Belts no longer have a stress impact. Double Chests on car contraptions no longer split when a car contraption is moved. Sync now has Deep Slate and Raw variants. The Adjustable Repeater has been removed, leaving only the Pulse Repeater. The Portable Storage Interface has now been moved to the Andesite tier. And finally, we have a few new Crushing Meal recipes. Any Crimsite block gives you Iron. Any Tough block gives you Gold, Copper, Zinc, Iron, and Flint. Any Viridium block gives you Copper. Any Azurine block gives you Zinc. Any Orky block gives you Gold. Any Dripstone block gives you Clay. And finally, any calcite block gives you bone meal. And finally, chromatic compound has actually been removed from the game, along with refined radiance and shadow steel. However, you can still give it to yourself with commands. So what do you guys think of the update? Personally, I love everything they added, and I'm super excited to start playing some crate mod in 1.18. So what kind of content do you guys want to see? Do you want to see uh, survival let's play, hardcore let's play, um, just some tutorials? You guys let me know what you want. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye